What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Slackers. Not sponsored, I swear. I just really, really like the product. Uh, <laughs> uh, setting that aside, uh, today I want to discuss the roster size for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. And uh, while, let me state at the beginning, I think it is absolutely tremendous seeing all the different kinds of characters and wish lists that you guys come up with for this game. In fact, the devs even like it as well. They've put it out there on social media, Discord, like, hey, send us your request. We love listening. We like seeing this stuff. Even one of them said on Discord that they like the obscure picks, maybe even more than we do. So they like it. It's good for it's good for the game. It's good for discussion. Keep it going. But the point of today is to I uh, just keep expectations in check it's to hype responsibly because i've seen wish lists that get over 50 60 characters and it's kind of like are you really expecting this game to be that so like the first point is this game nickelodeon all-star brawl it's not going to be smash bros ultimate in terms of roster size all right i'm not here to compare roster like all right who has the better roster that's not what this is about no i'm just saying roster size the amount of characters it's not going to be smash Ultimate. they have 80 plus characters this one we have 14 officially revealed characters five pretty much confirmed from the box art leak and there's still maybe two others on the box art that we might not have figured out yet but uh even if we include seven from the box art, we have 21 characters right now and you got to keep in mind again not being smash bros you have to look at other like for example t look at other games that are not smash bros that are still the party brawler mascot ma mashup type of games right for example uh let's take playstation all-stars real quick that game when it first launched had 20 characters a playstation all-star game had only 20 playable characters and then they added four more through dlc but 24 total characters for their entire roster that's, uh, you know, maybe by today's standards might be a little low and disappointing to a lot of people. But then again, it's kind of the devs. What's their budget? What can they work with? How many can they add? What's their time frame? There's so many different factors that come into this that expecting, you know, if, if there's going to be a lot of people, let's be honest, there's going to be a lot of people that will come from Smash Bros into this game to give it a try. And if they're going to see, say, the base roster starts at 25, for example, I don't know what the base roster is going to start at, but... We'll just take 25, right? The base roster is 25 characters. Somebody comes over from Smash and goes, is this it? Where's the rest? Where, where's where's the Hugh Neutrons? Where's Timmy Turner, Jimmy Neutron? Where, where, where are all these people? Why aren't they in the roster? You gotta keep in mind, this is Ludosity. This is their first game that they're making for the Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl potential series. If they, you know, if this game does well enough, it can continue to grow. It, there is the possibility of DLC, keep in mind. Remember when the dev said uh, there has been discussions for post-launch content? Nothing's confirmed, but there's been discussions about that, so that's really that's good news, right? If we keep the buzz going, the roster could keep expanding through DLC and post-launch content, stuff like that, and maybe even, you know, way down the line, maybe uh, a, a sequel for the game, right? Maybe we continue to just build the game up and up and up, right? So the roster size... Again, keep the expectations in check. We've had other games, like we said, with PlayStation All-Stars. Even uh, take something like um, Brawl Out, right? That was another kind of... Like, they had a few guest characters in there, right? They Juan from Guacamole, Guacamole, Guaca, Guaca something. And uh, and what? They had the, the Drifter from Hyper Light Drifter thing, and Ukulele came in. But that roster, even like when that first launched, that was like, what? I think that was, that was less than 20 characters as well. So you got to keep in mind this isn't this isn't going to be Smash Bros level of roster size. And I think if we can at least go into that expecting, you know, a reasonable number and I mean, what's a reasonable number? I think probably 25 to 30 maybe. I mean, we've seen 14, right? And like I said, we had the 5 with the box art leak. There might might be two others. We got the girl with the weird hair and then the the foot thing and then something that maybe kind of looks like crumb from all real monsters maybe so even if we accept that again that's seven characters on the box art that we don't officially know we're at 21 how many more are we going to get from that right so 
it's it's anybody's guess. We could we could still get another like 20 reveals. Who knows? But maybe the box art and then, you know, just a couple other surprises and then that's it. You know, we might be looking at a 25, 24 uh, character uh, roster size. So we just got to go into this again, hyping responsibly, keeping expectations in check. Because like we said, we, we're going to have people coming over here, trying out the game. You know, they're like, hey, Smash Bros type of game. I'm excited to try it. And then they're going to see... All right, cool. They got their SpongeBob, you know, Reptar. Ooh, Potter Toast, man. That's kind of interesting. It's uh, Nigel Thornberry. So they got some meme characters. They got some wacky picks. But where are these other ones that I want? They're not catering to just you first. They're not catering to just me. They're not catering to one single person. They're trying to take the roster and build upon what they have. Like, remember the quote that they uh, that one of the devs had? That, uh, where, where did I write this down? How did this? It's, it was something along the lines of, uh, they're not going to include a character just because they go with another confirmed character. So that might be alluding to other characters, right? So far, Ninja Turtles is a perfect ex example, right? We have Michelangelo and we have Leonardo. Where's Raphael? Where's Donatello? Maybe we actually don't get them. Maybe this will be like the first game where all four turtles aren't on the base roster. But then again, you gotta give, remember, we already just discussed this. Post-launch content could be a thing. Maybe the turtles come, you know, the other two turtles come later on. Other SpongeBob characters come later on. You know, if Timmy and Jimmy and Jenny, if they don't get base roster, maybe they come post-launch. That's still a possibility. We gotta keep that in mind. So, uh, yeah, with, uh, I mean, uh, not including characters that go with other confirmed characters, that doesn't just apply to Ninja Turtle. It applies to everybody on the roster, right? It applies to other SpongeBob characters, like where's Squidward, where's Plankton, where's Mr. Krabs, some people might say, where's Man Ray? Man Ray would be awesome, but where are these characters? Why are they not in the game? Again, you don't want to try to overload the roster, per se, with, you know, one or two specific franchises, and that's what I think they're doing a really good job of so far. We've seen a plethora of different series and shows that you know, maybe we wouldn't even think to have included if they would have just announced this game and didn't show us any characters. Just like, hey, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl is going to be a thing. And then they didn't show any characters. You know, odds are people might not even think of characters like a Powder Toast Man, like Nigel Thornberry. He still might be a meme pick, but, you know, people might not actually take that, you know, too seriously. So that's what I like. They're trying to, at least I feel that they're spreading out the, the love for the roster. Sure, they got to get their SpongeBob characters. It's Nickelodeon's biggest franchise, their biggest show, right? Their biggest moneymaker, so having multiple reps makes sense. They own the Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles, there's four of them, and then Shredder, Casey Jones, April O'Neil, possibly. You know, there's many different ideas for that so that they could go with. But they're spreading it out a little bit, which I really, really like. We've seen other, like Helga. Hey, Arnold, that's another one. A lot of people are expecting Arnold because, well, Helga's on the roster. So, like, why would we get Helga but not Arnold? Again, there's no, we're not operating on Smash Bro rules here, for example, right? Remember the thing that if, if you come from Smash Bros, you know Sakurai's rule. Got to have like the main character or something like that as the, the first real character from the series to get represented. Where was that said that that has to be a rule, right? Sure, hey, Arnold might have a character and it might not be Arnold. Maybe we only get Helga for now. That's completely fine, right? Continue with those requests, right? Let's see if people actually really want Arnold. Let's see if people really want Jimmy and Timmy and Jenny and Hugh and all these other characters, right? So, yeah, the roster size, <laughs> getting back on topic here, uh, the roster size, let's just go into it, you know, not expecting an overload because the dev even says themselves. Uh, so they were replying to somebody that was hoping for a 50 character size, and then they reply with, I don't know, I'll put something on screen right here, but, uh, they reply with something along the lines of, well, do you know what other Smash, uh, non-Smash Party Brawler games, you know, what they their roster typically launches with? So they're trying to set expectations to a realistic, you know, mindset. They're trying to make it, hey, don't overblow this. Don't make this a bigger thing to only be disappointed in the end because you let yourself think, all right, we're getting 50 characters. We're going to get this, you know. And then it comes back with 25, and you're like, wait, what? All these other characters that I like. So just hype responsibly, keep the expectations in check is pretty much the message for this video. So uh, 
yeah, that is pretty much all I got for this one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, uh, I guess that's all I got. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.